Pokemon uh, Legends Arceus just came out. For those who don't know, uh, here, let me go to my Switch screen. Um, for those who don't know, Pokemon Legends Arceus is like a, it's a new type of Pokemon game. I don't really, I've like seen some stuff about it, but I don't want to spoil anything. Um, where am I? Where, where am I in the frame? Let me fix this. Um, I kind of just want to, I kind of just want to play. Hmm. But first, let me, it's, it takes place in, in, uh, in the diamond and pearl world, <laughs> but like in the past. Um, and anyway, it just came out and I can't think straight and we're just going to play. I don't know what's going on, but we're just going to play. I hope everybody's having a good night and that's, I'm fixing my face. I'm fixing my face place, my fix my face. Okay. Um, have I seen the leaks? No, no, <laughs> no, I haven't seen the leaks. I've been, I'm, I'm streaming now cause I want to avoid spoilers or anything. Um, so let's, uh, if, if your night sucks, someone said their night sucks. Well, it's about to get a lot better. Let me make sure I select. How long is the stream going to last until daddy gets tired? No, probably at least like three, four hours. Oh, this is very much like Breath, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Dude, this game has gotten so many Breath of the Wild comparisons, and they're not helping with this. Welcome to my realm. Located. Welcome to my realm. Located beyond time and space. I, I'm going to decide on the voices for this. Ooh, they use the same noise for progressing dialogue. I Okay, now I'm hearing this as... It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Okay, so first let's address Arceus versus Arceus. Uh, Arceus is the same Pokemon name in English and Japanese, so it's Arceus, and that's and that's that on that. My boyfriend heard you say until daddy gets tired, and he said WTF. Uh, explain to your boyfriend what a joke is. <laughs> uh... Now I wish to know thine appearance. Okay, this is the classic. We had this with Pokemon Unite as well. Nintendo does uh, this thing where they're like, what do you look like? Do you look like a traditional anime character or do you look like a traditional anime character with darker skin? Uh, no hairstyle representation whatsoever. Um, though I do feel like my hair right now looks kind of like you can't really see it but it's kind of like i got this hat on and the hair is coming out the sides it's very ash ketchum of me it's very it's very ash of myself what is thy name okay all right i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say all of these things i'm feeling pretty anime today my name's jarvis what if i just named myself daddy just despite that chatter's boyfriend I would never do such a thing. Uh, Jarvis, yeah, that's me. Soon, soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. Am I making new merch soon? Stay tuned. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. What start am I going to pick up? Come on. Don't you know? No, I... I uh, if I'm not subscribed, will I get more ads? Uh, yeah, I think like they run ads like like a like once an hour or something. Seek out all Pokemon and that shall find me once more. Okay, okay, Arceus. Came late. What are we playing? We're playing brand new Pokemon game, Pokemon Legends Arceus. What's the game about? We'll find out. It's brand new. I don't know anything. But I'm waking up from a sleep again. This is just like the beginning of Breath of the Wild. I cannot stress that enough. <laughs> Oh, there goes my iPhone. Or or is it a Sheikah slate? Oh, I'm time traveling. No more iPhone for you. It's time to go to the pat. Arceus says no iPhone. <laughs> Arceus says, I am the god of all Pokemon. No iPhone. He says, instead, you can have a light phone. 
It's a Huawei phone. Yo, I'm pretty, I'm pretty psyched. Uh, I was worried because the game looked like garbage, like when you saw uh, like trailers and stuff. But then the reviews came in and they said it wasn't bad. So that's all I need. That's that the sound is eerily Breath of the Wild. I know, I know. I'm not gonna be able to shake it. I'm not gonna be able to shake it. Wake up. Ooh, I like that. Do wake up, won't you, dude? This is like the meme where you wake up and <laughs> this is who's staring at you. Um, are you alive? Are you alive, my boy? Is this about to be a professor? Oh, oh, what is he wearing on his head? Oh, he's, he's, oh, I should have worn my beanie. I'm going to still do my Professor Oak sound uh, voice for him. You gave me quite a sh oh, wait. You gave me quite a shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, well, no, I don't like this voice. Uh, I'll find another one later. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come now. Who in the world does that? Yeah, I did fall out of the sky. My clothing is unusual. I wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts. Not to my knowledge. Have you seen my iPhone? Um, I am in a bit of a pickle. Also, what's that in the sky over there? Is that Calamity Ganon? Might I offer you some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? No, I don't. Where am I? Who are you? So you don't know anyone here and you don't even know where to spend the night. Y I'm a child. <laughs> Please. Stop berating me. I'm a child and I'm lost. I'm just a little guy, don't you know? Uh, this is a proper pickle indeed. Um, are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I don't know what to do. Again, I'm a kid. Beach confrontation, yes. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. He's not old enough for this voice. No one asks you, Rowlet. Flish Plash. Dude, Flish Plash is enough of a reason not to pick Oshawott. Um, can someone give me a brief summary of what this game is? Uh, it's it's Pokemon set in a long time ago, and it's not like a normal Pokemon game. Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I had just caught up these three runaway Pokemon. How convenient. Extreme coincidence. Put it on your bingo cards. Um, it's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Uh, dude, how are the textures this untextured? What is going on with the logo on his... Dude, what is going on with these graphics? Um, do you even know what a Pokemon is? Not exactly. Uh, well, these three are here, what we call Pokemon. Very mysterious creatures, you see. So you see. Oh, yes. What might your name be? Well... Yeah, that's right. The name has quite a ring to it. Yeah, I've heard that before. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. No. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even... My name is Laventon? Laventon? Laventon. Okay. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Um, look at him go. They shook the camera. That was kind of cool. Blast and bother, my darling Pokemon. Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? Dude. I'm not going to run in these flip-flops. Have you seen what? My shoes? Or lack thereof. Ooh. Whoa, he's like kind of snappy. This is like not... This is a little jank, PBH. But that's okay. It's like so fast. I'm just getting used to Breath of the Wild where the camera doesn't move that fast. This is like pretty wild, like the, the motion. Sorry for anybody who I just disoriented with all that. Oh, it's my Arceus phone. Arceus put one of those like gaudy phone cases on it on my f iPhone.
You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably a phone. <laughs> yeah, you found something that resembles a phone. It might be a phone, but who's to say? Uh, it's changed shape. It still looks like a phone, but it's just got a case on it. You feel strange? Someone's going to sell an Arceus case for an iPhone like this. I swear to God. Um, I bestow upon thee this Arc phone. Yeah, okay. Uh, and thy mission, seek out all Pokemon. He said, uh, and the scripture wrote, gotta catch them all. Um, okay. I actually, it's ridiculous how, how much, did that tree just pop in? I was like two feet away from it and it popped in. Oh God, this moves so fast. All right. <laughs> 11th commandment. <laughs> Aww. He's like, I'm not no, I am no good at throwing Pokeballs. Yeah, that's a Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. And it makes that sound, apparently. Cafe Tropical, thank you for the gifted. That one over there, Cyndaquil. Oh, we know Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. Nice. Near the pond is Oshawott. See, Oshawott, they're not even giving Oshawott a plish plash right now. Oshawott naps while floating on the water and it can battle using the shell like object on its belly. Oh, there's the plish plash. Yeah, see, no, sorry, we're not picking Oshawott. How to go about catching Pokemon. Okay. Um. Whoa, it's like proto Pokeballs. They look rustic. Uh, throw these at Pokemon to catch them. 50? A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand. Ooh, you can craft Pokeballs by hand. Um, that won't do. This guy's really, this guy really needs to stop second guessing himself. He's a professor. He knows all the stuff about Pokemon, but he keeps like kind of talking down to himself. Professor Lavatin, it's okay. You're doing fine, my guy. Um, now, I've mentioned already the Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to a minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Have they ever explained the physics of Pokeballs? I feel like this is some lore right now. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and... The Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball. Comfy as can be. They really had to leave that in there. They were like, and we must assure you the Pokemon inside of the ball is comfy. It's not, it's experiencing no discomfort, PETA. <laughs> like, the Pokemon is fine inside of the ball, all right? It enjoys it. <laughs> um, and with that, you've, you've caught a Pokemon. It has a fireplace and a TV inside, yeah. It's got a Nintendo Switch. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. Oh my gosh. Um, I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Damn. Imagine putting all of your problems on an 11-year-old boy who just washed up on shore. Um, proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon and let the ball fly. Though far be it for me to say so. Given my own dire lack of skill in this area, Lavington, stop talking down to yourself, man. You're doing just fine. You're a professor. Um, Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down ZR and take aim. Right stick to adjust the angle. Oh, I got water on the my joystick. Okay. Uh, release ZR. If you've ready the Pokeball, you don't throw it. Press B to cancel. Cool. It's it's like uh, shooting a bow in Breath of the Wild. All right, let's. Uh, where are the Pokemon? <laughs> Wait. Oh, there they are. There they are. What's up, Bosh? What? What's up, dog? I kind of missed, but I'll take it. Nice. Ooh. Wonderful. You've caught a Pokemon. Um, it seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business. 
Um, jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this this is like me at the dog park trying to get Dipper ready to go home, and he like keeps running away from me. So I hire an eleven year old child to track him down and get his leash on him. Um, that's what that's what happens every single time. I have to. You know, if there's no 11-year-old boy who's fallen from the sky that day, then I'm at the <laughs> I'm at the park for a while. That is a satisfying noise. Many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind, catch them. Well, I don't really know anything, so you haven't let me know that this is a dangerous thing. But I do know that I think Pokemon can hurt you in this, in this world. So, or in this game. So I, I think that Professor Lavathan should have probably given me a little bit more of a warning. Oh. Ah, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old boy. Where is he at? Where are you? Oh my god. It is so disorienting if you move the camera fast. But actually, where did Cyndaquil go? Am I, am I just missing him? He was right here. Did he? Re oh, there he is. Oh, do I have to? No, probably not, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, so you see, the three Pokemon you caught here have only just arrived to the village to help with our research. They won't listen to anyone. As I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Jarvis, I was taking it back at how well you use Pokeballs. He's like, yeah, like back in my time, there's this video game I play uh, called Digimon. <laughs> How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? Um, one can't help but think that there's a reason you have appeared here and now. <laughs> Communicating as only a child can. Says nothing and shows him a phone. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say? Could it be guiding you somehow, like a Shiga slate of sorts? If you'll indulge, indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you hit him with the you got games on your phone. You see, I have a dream. You see, <laughs> I have a dream. Much like Martin Luther King Jr., I had a dream of Pokemon. To compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. A proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all, of all the Pokemon to be found in the region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them all. <laughs> and therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. People are, just have no high-end-eye coordination here in the Hisui region. Uh, enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, no pressure, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. So essentially, you're doing all the work for me. <laughs> a situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help, help one another out, my boy? You know, well, uh, I don't think you've really... I'm lost, <laughs> and I would like to go home. I don't think I just fall from the sky and go, all right, time to live a new life. My only option is you've convinced me? Okay, old man who I just met, I'll uproot my life and do your dirty work. Then whoever, whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. Please don't touch me. We've got a Pokedex to complete. 
First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. How about finding my way home? Follow me, then onward to Jubilife Village. Aww. <laughs> Stranger danger, yeah. I can't get past the plot holes already. It's okay. I feel like in the real world, you'd be like, uh, can we go to the village doctor, perhaps? Make sure I'm okay. Um, I already can imagine people saying that this is annoying, but I'm going to keep doing the voices because it's fun for me. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him to the village for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, no no talking for me, I'm just a guard. <laughs> I don't really talk. Is anyone gonna address the death cloud in the sky over the volcano? Aw, look, it's a little village. Good old Jubilife. This way, if you please. The other thing is that like if you're not paying attention. 100% to the stream and you look away. I kind of want people to be able to hear the dialogue. That's what I like when I'm watching streams. Um, Jubilee Village. It's come a long... Oh, I didn't get the chance to finish reading. The road we're on now is known to the locals as Kanala Avenue. Where'd you come from? That's an alpha right now. A new recruit to the Survey Corps? Every time they say Survey Corps, I think of Attack on Titan. I understand you must be more than a tad curious. Wait, why is this dialogue happening like this? All right, I, it's not giving me enough time to read it. That's fine. Now the Imperial Galaxy. Okay. Does yeah? Great question. Does the professor know that child? I understand. Oh gosh. Okay, they really don't want me to read this. We're not supposed to talk to strangers, you know. Agreed. Agreed. Oh, botheration, I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered those escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's just past this bridge here, then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. He's like, get me a whiskey on the rocks. It's been a hard day for the professor. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Okay, use the minus button. I have to look. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. To view the map. They're just gonna just tell me it's. If they just said, hey, it's uh, Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild controls, just figure it out. I feel like you would just do everything right. Um, you can consult the map for guidance to your next destination information on your missions. I guess this isn't the map. In, no, it is the map in Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we need to go to the Wallflower. Oh, okay. And these little dots have little things over. So we've got some pastures. We got a farm. We got Charm Lady Lucille. Okay. Dude, the, I cannot get over how fast this man moves and how fast they let you move the camera. Maybe I can toggle this, but it is like borderline disorienting. But it's probably because I've just been playing Breath of the Wild a lot, if I'm being honest. You're absolutely zooming. Yeah, I'm going to check the settings in a second. Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflower is for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. What if you're attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be minced meat in those flimsy clothes. Unlike me, I'm in a robe. And a robe famously protects you from bites. If the guard let you through, you must have ties to someone in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Laviton? He likes meeting all the kids in town. <laughs> Sorry, I have to stop with this. But it is right. Like, yeah, they didn't give him enough... Uh of a narrative reason to be talking to this child. I 
Um, his Pokemon, his Pokemon do get away from him at times. It makes me a bit worried for him. Everyone in the city is worried for this like incompetent professor. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself, but then I remember I'm 11 and the professor's 39. <laughs> I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago. And I had to take to my bed all. But the professor, well, I do wonder while he'll la how long it'll last. Um, unfortunately, it's just as Akari says, or Akari. Uh, Akari says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Okay, so who's Akari? Professor! Oh, Akari. Wait, what? Was he- who said that then? Wait, she's Akari? Maybe I misread the dialogue. But everything will be quite alright now. Jarvis here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Oh, she is Akari. So maybe I didn't see that Lavatin was here. Anyway. Excuse me? You plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a- I wish I could do like a spunky, like, voice for her, but I can't. You can't, you can't just slap a badge on who, <laughs> on whoever you like without Captain Silene's permission. I'll allow, wait, I'll allow it. Captain Silene? Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. Professor La... Professor Lavatin has, Lavatin has told me how you helped to secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like... It's so hard for me to read and talk at the same time. And now it seems he would like like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm. You look to be 15 or so. Oh, okay. At least he's not 11. Like Ash. Quite old enough to work for your keep. Oh, okay. They said child labor laws who? <laughs> um... But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us. That would be sus. <laughs> Without the idea of their skills or origins. I can throw a Pokeball pretty good. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh! A most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone. Aww. So I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Mindful eating. Actually, that's pretty sick, Silene. <laughs> Not a lot of people do that. I don't do that. My therapist says I should do that, and I don't do it. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, huh? Benny, old chum. The usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Bl Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. I can't imagine what that would taste like. I've had potato. I've had mochi. I can't imagine what they taste like together. <laughs> Professor Laventon, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, well, you know that great hole in the sky? The one people call the space-time rift? What do you mean they call it the space-time rift? It's ancient times, right? Our new friend fell right out of it. Oh, they mean gnocchi? I can see. That makes sense. Maybe it tastes like gnocchi? That does make sense. Now that... Yeah, that does make sense. Somebody said space time, Rusty. <laughs> Dude, you're out of pocket for that. Um, come now. I I am a scientist. That just reminded me. Has anybody seen um, Steinsgate? That just reminded me of uh, of of Shoin Um, my my job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, it's... Okay, now you already know... Blah, 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 blah. Many Pokemon here that there are in the grass, in the forest, by the water. Now they're just... 
telling us information. Our job at the Survey Corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. That's why I let the stranger hold the Pokeballs and throw them at the Pokemon at point blank range. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. Metal Ufa, yes! But that's where Jarvis will come in. A lot of faith you're putting in this person, child you just met. He successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quicker order. In quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as this. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. They're like we finally found the Tom Brady of throwing Pokeballs. And we can, we can squeeze him dry of his labor to complete the Pokedex. Um, three. We have a hard enough time catching even one. <laughs> now I'm just imagining. Can you imagine they're like throwing Pokeballs like in the opposite direction? They're like, why can't we catch him? Um. The key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to just do that. Yeah, because you told me, you didn't tell me about the risks. They don't believe in the heart of the balls. That's right, dude. If you believe in the heart of the balls, you can catch any Pokemon you want. Uh, how did I, what was this guy's voice? Does the Survey Corps really have, does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? I'm kind of xenophobic and I hate anyone, especially if they come from the sky. Your captain just ordered 10 whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress on that Pokedi Pokedex of yours is clearly has her on edge. Wait, Silene is eating 10 potato mochi by herself? Um. We'll rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Damn. Wait, she's trying to eat mindfully, okay? Stop. Let's not food shame Captain Silene. Um. And think, if you make it into the Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, uh, Noble, noble humble, Humblebee. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. Yeah, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Jarvis has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Jarvis's skills, having just met him 30 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, this game is about military indoctrination. Um, let's hope it's not misplaced. Jarvis, was it? For tonight, at least, we'll be provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. I will not get a consistent voice for some of these characters. It's just not going to happen. But if you fail to pass the trial we put you, we put to you tomorrow, some of these, the language is like supposed to sound like old timey, but I don't know if it succeeds at that. Um, but if you fail to pass the trial we put you to tomorrow, put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds because you're 15 and we'll kill you if you can't join the survey corps. Did Jarvis manage to avoid the leak spoilers? I did, so no spoilers, please. Captain Silene's somewhat like Hisui, and that they're both quite harsh. Abigail, thank you for the five gifted. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, huh? I imagine our friend is something about falling, he said. A rift in the sky? People falling from it? The world is full of mysteries. I love how the optimistic take. I The sky is falling and it's full of children is what I would be saying. And why is it happening and I'm scared? Oh, okay. That's cool. Gives you a little 
anything. I wonder, can I do anything yet? I can't do anything akin to, anything akin to settings yet. Um, all right, I guess we're sleeping. Ooh, I kind of want to investigate. Checking survey tips. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work. To read them at any time, simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toys to be forgotten. Diligent re record keeping will save you from such a fate. Oh, up button for the menu? But it auto-saves? Excuse me. Oh, there we go. Ah. Uh, what? You know, it's like... Oh, wait. Was that the settings? ZR. Game controls. Oh, this is just... No, that's not. Settings. Camera sensitivity. Oh... Oh, this is... What do you mean? Before it was too fast, and this is a snail's pace. Come on. Okay. Let's let's try... Let's try two. What do you mean? This is still so slow. Wait. Camera sensitivity three. Okay. Okay. You know what? This camera isn't fat, isn't too bad. So maybe I'll leave that, but maybe I'll fiddle with the move sensitivity. Motion sensitivity. Wait. Motion sensor. That's motion sensor. Tech speed fast. Vertical camera. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So I can't actually change my... That makes sense. That makes sense. Whatever. Oh, wait. Oh, di dynamic range of... Okay, of sounds. Whatever. Whatever. We'll just deal. Motion sensitivity turned out to be the motion controls. Hope everybody's having a good day or night. Oh, look at the Bidoof. The Bidoof. Damn. Should have used a Thunder Helmet. This feels like custom robot on the GameCube. It no offense, but it looks like a GameCube game. I mean, I I can I fuck with it. I'll play it regardless. But I mean, I do wonder why. It, you know, like I feel like Breath of the Wild came out in 2017. You know, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Breath of the Wild came out five years ago. Oh, I mean, like almost five years ago. Um, today is the day. Of your trial so let's give it our all not that every game should look like breath of the wild i'm just saying for a game that takes a lot of cues from it and it's game freak it's not like they don't have resources whatever whatever <laughs> whatever i'm i'm not gonna i'm not gonna keep i'm not gonna keep complaining um I think it's cartoonish on purpose. Oh, I know it's cartoonish on purpose, but like, look at the anti-aliasing. Look at this edge. You know what I mean? Like, like, like I, it's not, it's not about the cartoonishness. It's about like, like, look at this. Like, look at those jagged edges, man. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I think it looks fine. I'm, I'm gonna, I enjoy the, the style of the game. Um, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, uh, it looks like a GameCube game, and that's fine. Um, you always disable anti-aliasing. Uh, a nice fire. Didn't Breath of the Wild have anti-aliasing like that, too? I feel like Breath of the Wild did a lot of, like, clever cheating to make things, like, look good at a glance. And I think it's just, like, I sometimes feel like I'm playing somebody's, like, uh, tech demo.
doesn't feel as janky as it looks. I mean, okay, I'm gonna stop ragging on the game. I think it's, I think it's fine, but I think it does look a little wonky. But that's that on that. Uh, that's that on that. I'm gonna enjoy the game. Uh, Pokemon games never really have great graphics anyway, so I don't know what I expected. Um, Breath of the Wild had cell shading, and this isn't cell shading. Look at, look at my leg. <laughs> look at my leg and tell me this isn't cell shading. Uh, what, um, I hope you have a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Silene is waiting. Okay. <laughs> what if that was his voice? All right, cool. I'm 15, and I just fell from the sky. <laughs> that would destroy my boys. Do you prefer we watch the VODs on Twitch or YouTube? Uh, for VODs, like, probably YouTube, but, you know, do whatever you want. I know the gra- Look, here's what matters. The graphics are good enough for me to have a good time. So, that's, uh, that's what I'll be doing here. The Survey Corps offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. I, I assume that's what Pacelle sounds like. I don't know what she looks like. The wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack, especially a whole pack of Bidoof, I was outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corps will put you to rights. That man's with the security corps. And even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. <laughs> They're gonna this is gonna be the Magnesis trial. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, wait a second. This is just Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Um uh, you may enter. Dude, I'm- I think- I feel like Captain Silene is... kind of dope. If you wish- wait, oh, I can't remember. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition team, prove yourself capable by going out to the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Oh, don't mind if I do. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy team has ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. Um, Jarvis has a crush. <laughs> Dude, I, I just, is she single? That's the question. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. Um, ooh, they're lending me a satchel. That's not, <laughs> wait, that's not how you wear a satchel. Is that how you wear a satchel? <laughs> wait, what? At least, like, that's a fanny pack. Put it on, put it in the front, man. How are you going to access it back there? How are you going to access the fanny pack? This is the funniest moment of the game so far. Um, wait, hold on. Hang on, hang on. Um, I figured I shouldn't leave. Leave. I shouldn't go any further without my satchel. Now that I have my satchel, we can continue. Alright. Is Dipper's name from Gravity Falls? Yes. Mission. The Galaxy Team's... The Galaxy Team's Entry Trial. Checking missions. Press the Y button while consulting the map on the arc phone. Missions must be completed. 
Dude, I like saw myself in the thing and I'm like, I need to put lotion on my elbows. My elbows are so ashy. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Pardon, Jarvis. Come with me a moment. This is Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. I'm not going to read all this. I want to move for faster in the game. Um, Jarvis must pass the trial. As a professor of Pokemon, I've got just a ticket to help accomplish that. S Ooh, do you want to flip plop? Do you want to cruise? Do you want to boom? Do you want to flish plash? Flish plash. Flish plash. <laughs> All right, this is the moment of truth, everybody. Who do I pick? Who do I pick? Plush Splash? Do you want Oshawott as your first partner? Fuck no! <laughs> I want Cyndaquil. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Of course I want Cyndaquil. What do you mean? <laughs> Don't do Plish Splash like that. Um, I was like, doesn't Rowlet evolve into like Decidueye? I was like, I don't know, man. And, uh... And, and with that, one of the Pokemon you got, Prelude Beach, will now be yours to keep. We left fire in this household. I have, like, you know, it's like, I'm old. I'm older than most of you, okay? So, so me and Cyndaquil go way back. That's the thing. I know, I, I also, I did see some of the memes about Hisui and, um, um, Typhlosion, and I don't think it looks good. Uh, I don't remember, but I don't think it looks good. I haven't seen Hisui and uh, Decidueye. Also, Hisui and Decidueye looks ridiculous. Like, those two words together. Excuse me. Jarvis is an old man, I can't confirm. Yeah, thank you for age shaming me, Nikayla. Thank you very much. Um, I actually went Gen 1. I was, uh, well, I played Yellow first, so I had Pikachu. Um, and then, uh, Gen 2, I went for Alligator. I went for Alligator. Um. A word of advice, my boy. Play close attention to which Pokeballs are empty, and which ones contain Pokemon when you're out in the field. What? What do you mean? Like, I can mix up where Cyndaquil is? <laughs> Damn, somebody's going after Hisui and Decidueye. Um, how old am I? I'm 14. They look as if they're cheering on their friend Cyndaquil. Perhaps they're jealous. I had to go classic. I'm just, I'm just, uh, honestly, I, if it were a different selection of generation, different, like those generation starters, I may have gone differently. Cyndaquil isn't my favorite, but I do like it more than Rowlet and Oshawott. And that's the problem. Like I could have gone, like you hit me with some gen three starters. We could have got interesting. You hit me with some gen eight starters. We could have got, gotten interesting. Some gen four starters. Like I probably uh, would have picked Chimchar. Well, that's kind of the fire starter anyway. Um, I would have picked Chimchar over most of the generate the earlier generations. I don't know. There are starters I like in the later generations, so. Um, I don't even feel like I have a strong Gen 1 bias, uh, because I do like a lot of the new Pokemon. It's just that these, this starter selection was very weird. I don't know. If, I would have picked Chikorita Harvey. Dude, Chikorita would have been sick. Um, okay. What am I supposed to do? So X is, oh, 
So this is where I switch, where I'm just like, boom, now I'm throwing a Pokeball, and then boom, now I'm throwing out Cyndaquil. All right, cool. Cyndaquil is already level five. Um, I'm just gonna talk to some people. Um, I liked fire starters as well, but Gen three, the correct op, the correct pick was Mudkip. Um, Mudkip went crazy. It was like unfair how much better Mudkip was than the other starters too, because like that type combination, that shit was crazy. All right. Okay, now I can I can throw out the boom, boom, and then I hit B to cancel it, just like in Breath of the Wild. Boom. I gotta practice my my mechanics so I don't make a mistake, like the professor told me. Okay, that's that's cynical. Okay, cool. Now we're back. Now we're throwing pokeballs. Now we're throwing pokeballs. Boom. Cancel. Boom. Do a quick cancel. Boom. All right. Oh. What's up, cynical? All right. Can I get you back in your ball? Wait. How do I get cynical back in cynical's ball? These. I do love Torchic. I just love Gen 3 a lot. Wait, but how do I... Okay, here's the first problem. Am I? Do I have to re-catch? Press ZR. Ah. Um. Oh, that's so funny. Wait. Dude, it is the same controls as Breath of the Wild. Because, like, if I do this... And then I hit ZL. Yeah. Um. Okie dokie. I mean, these controls are not just Breath of For what it's worth, I'm kind of ragging on the game for it being like Breath of the Wild. But uh, Breath of the Wild wasn't like innovative with the, the, those controls are pretty common. Yo, Snivy. If it were. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. I've heard talk about you. It fell from the sky, didn't you? Now, that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've got a Pokemon? You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant success. So, what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Let's do it. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're about to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before we head out. He's le less cool guy, so now I don't want to do the same voice for him, but... Though I hope you know if you'll lo Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Oh. Ginkgo Guild member Volo challenged you to a battle. Oh. He does- He does give the vibe that he would go, Oh. You know what I mean? Like, gee, yeah, James from Team Rocket. All right. How does this work? Okay. Fight. Quick attack. Ooh, that was nice. Is it turn-based still? Um, yeah, let's fight. Can I just fucking punch Togepi? I'll get him from behind. Cyndaquil, you go from the front. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll put Togepi. You you finish him off. Uh, moves, items, use the, moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. New move. Have I learned Ember? It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon subset. <laughs> Sorry. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. 
If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. It is so funny that nobody knows how to use a Pokeball. Um... Ooh, that's very nice. Yeah, didn't we learn this lesson when Ash got in the middle of Mew and Mewtwo? I'm trying to do a recreate the Pokemon first movie moment, okay? I want pe I want everyone to cry and bring me back to life. Uh, you can use them in your Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More Galaxy team members means more customers. Yeah. I don't think anybody commented on the fact that I left the room with a hat and came back with a beanie. Because I want to I wanna impersonate uh, uh, Laventon when he comes back. Now to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Oh, you have to tell the guard where you're going? Wait. You're Jarvis, correct? Hmm, what does he sound like? You're Jarvis? No. You're Jarvis, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care and come back alive. Um, okay, so... Wait, I'm already fast traveling? Wait, I'm already fast traveling? I thought I was gonna walk there. Oh, dude, Bacoblins live here. Wait, we should get away. There's gonna, we're gonna have to fight Bacoblins and maybe even Moblins. Um. Or whatever those um, enemies are in uh, Genshin Impact. It's been a while since I played. Yeah, where's this? Where's the skull chest at? Um. So you see, Captain Sailing got it. she impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. Uh, so finally, some responsibility, you see. Um, Jarvis's talents are the real deal. He's thrown four Pokeballs. Im this is like the equivalent of somebody seeing a kid like throw a football at like a park and then being like we think you you're the one who can save the St. Louis Rams in the NFL um you're the one who can save us all all right the galaxy team's entry trial i feel like everyone's been talking about this trial just let me go to the trial i mean i know i go over there but i i'm just like why are we yeah, okay, stay alive. I don't know why you keep saying that. <laughs> Am I... Why do you keep saying it like that? Stay alive and good luck passing too? Alright. Ooh, crafting. Okay. Oh, this is very satisfying. Is anyone else satisfied by this? I like that. I like that menuing sound. Yeah, this game has crafting. I cannot get over his satchel, dude. Aspiration Hill. At what point can I buy different clothes? I want to put on shoes. I feel like it's not the... Also, I don't love the font. I'm sure it'll grow on me. Okay, Bidoof. This town just feels like Texas, not 1800s Japan. <laughs> That's very funny. Focusing in the feel. Yeah. Yeah. Hold down ZL to focus. I wonder where they got that. I think this is the only game where you've held ZL to focus. 
Dude, I can I walk 20 feet without having another like okay. Yeah, look at that. Can I backflip? Oh, I, I was like Uh, how do I do a flurry rush on this Badoof? <laughs> Parry the Pokemon using B. Uh. Wait, did I get the Bidoof? Wait, hang on. Okay, that's the up button. What do I want to do? How do I go back? Oh, my satchels. Wait, it is does say my satchels up. So I... Oh, I just hit... Okay. So I do have a Bidoof now. Okay, cool. What? Can we go to summary? I'm like... Oh, check summary. Yeah. Alright, so we got... Does it have, like, normal Pokemon traits, like, in the other games? Oh, yeah, so we got the same six... I mean, I assume it's different, but... We still have HP, Special Attack, Attack, Special Defense, Defense Speed. And we have Natures, just like in regular Pokemon. So I'm assuming that there's some way to transfer these Pokemon out of this game. Or Pokemon into this game, you know what I mean? Because it seems like they have the same back end as like the other Pokemon games. Um, stat calculations are quite different. Yeah, but I feel like they had the uh, they had the perfect option to do something completely incompatible, and I feel like they made everything very symmetrical to the other games. So I wonder about that. Um, I kind of look at Bidoof's moves. Roll out? Ugh. Well, I mean, <laughs> I guess I don't know what it does in this game. Home compatibility is coming? That would make sense. What's the goal of the game? To help an old man uh, with his dreams. Um... Oh, you can crouch so your heart so like there's like you can you can do some crouching in stealth mode. It's a pretty cool mechanic that this game invented. Oh wait, no, actually how do you Oh you beat a crouch. Okay. I you know what? I you know, self report on myself. I tried to click into the analog stick to crouch. Oh, is that you sprint? Oh, do they invert crouch and sprint? Oh, that's nice. I actually like that. Okay, so you, you can't ZL until you get really close. Oh. Okay, so if it bounces, no dice. Is it going to run away from me and then what? And then what? Okay. Okay, so it's asleep now. Okay, so when you're in the grass and it puts this... uh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good crouch. I did like that crouch. However, I just realized oh, so you know how um I don't it's not just Breath of the Wild. It's not just Breath of the Wild, but you know how, like, in Breath of the Wild, you run in... Yeah, I was trying to... It's not an open world game. I know it's not an open world game, but I still... Give me a second. Um, so, you know how in Breath of the Wild, you run by holding B? Um, in this game, you crouch by holding B, and, uh... And you know how you crouch by pressing into the, um... The c control stick, or the, joy the joystick, or whatever. You do that to sprint, so they're swapped. They're swapped, and that's annoying. So sprinting... Uh, can they be remapped? I hope so. The, But also, I cannot believe you can move even faster in this game. Like, why can I move so fast? Hasn't running always been B in Pokemon? Yeah, why would they change it? 
That's why I, like, by instinct wanted to do it, but then... Like, this is so unintuitive. I wonder if... Can somebody look up if you can remap controls? Otherwise, I'll just get used to this. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but one at the wrong item. Press X. It's like sprinting in COD. Yeah, that's... Pokemon and COD have a lot in common, actually. You can do it manually on the Switch. True, true. Hey, Sarah. Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees like this to have it investigate. Oh, interesting. Your Pokemon finds berries. Okay. So, let me just hit that X, and then I just go... I go, go, Cyndaquil, grab that from a tree. <laughs> Wait, okay, so I miss. So they want me to directly hit it. Interesting. That's a little janky. Or at least, I mean, I'll probably get the hang of it. But it, that was kind of odd. So I like threw it directly at one of the things and then that initiated, that initiated uh, the little interaction. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Throw it at the base of the tree. Ah, I should try that. Yeah, so I guess I can just hit the tree. But I can't hit the leaves of the tree. Which is the weird part to me. I guess I kind of get it, but... Uh, Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? I mean, it's pretty adorable. No, I couldn't tell. Use your Boko Bat to knock them down. I was going to try and use a Korok Leaf, but that makes sense. Uh, not to worry. These things come... Uh, become clear once you focus on the Pokeball around you. Um, I love Shinx. Shinx is a great Pokemon. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate. Is irate the word they've chosen? Because they've used it like three times. They'll knock aside any... Okay. When you ZL, you can see how easily uh, it may be to catch. The more arrows, the easier it is to catch. Um... An X icon, if it picked the fight with you, be warned. You can't be caught unless you engage in battle. Is the word of the day? Wait, who does word of the day on this stream? Oh, I was just thinking, I think Coney does like word of the day. Um, don't don't worry though. I'll I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. Um, you've got to battle them. Yeah. Once you're absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball. Yeah. Okay. By now, you've got several Pokemon on your own. Yeah, I guess I do. Starting Pokemon battles. Easy to start a battle. Simply throw a Pokemon that contains many Pokemon at it. Yeah, so it looks like I'll be throwing my po a Pokeball of, with my Pokemon in at a lot of things. All right. Oh god, oh god. Alright, Cynical. Ooh, I should have used Ember. Oh, but it's level two. Okay, one more, one more, I think it could take another quick attack. Oh, I love this remix of the song, too. Um, okay. Can I just. Oh, why they do that? I expected, I expected to go into like a, like, like how I would throw a Pokeball if I was in the, the normal, like, it's like weird that it's just like in the normal video game. I kind of wanted to be able to like aim the Pokeball myself. You know what I mean? Why not just let you throw it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, it's, it's, it seemed natural that that would happen. Um. Like, because I'm already moving around during the fight, you know? That it would make sense to me that I could just, like, throw a Pokeball. Um. You've taken your first step. This calls for... 
you, they didn't they didn't have freaking Fujifilm cameras in fucking 1800s feudal Jubilife, I guess. I guess it, I don't know about Jubilife Village. It seems like they have some pretty advanced technology and they know about space time. Um I know that, so the, one of the things is I know the game looks open world, but I'm pretty sure it's not. So that's another thing that, like, um, to not get, like, too caught up in. In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pastures. Oh, okay, so the box system is a village pasture, because that's pretty cool. I still haven't played this. It literally just came out. That's okay. Um, let's not dilly dally. This guy uses like language from like, uh, I feel like like in the seventies or something, or I don't know. I don't know where dilly dally is from. I just know that adults said it when I was a kid. Um, wait, where am I supposed to go? Oh, sorry. Oh, I mean. Dude, this is my problem in Breath of the Wild 2. I'm like, where am I supposed to go? And then I like, it's on the screen. And I just need to walk to it. I don't understand why you can run around in battles if it isn't for proper Pokemon ball throwing. Yeah, great question. I don't know. Hopefully there is a reason to be able to run around in battles. Because otherwise, why not like sit you still? Because... What good does it do? Especially if you're not throwing Pokeballs. Do you know what I just thought? This game, okay, okay. I know we were done with talking about the graphics. This game looks like a game on the 3DS without the 3D effect on. That's what this looks like to me. That's what it looks like. Um. Because I saw that if you, okay, so look at her, look at, look at her name tag, like right in the foreground. It's like hella, oh, I, she stepped away from her thing. Never mind. Um, you received Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sand, still sandals. Um, let me see if I can get a view of that. Oh, no, the camera, like, you can't get it much in the foreground. So when we're in the cutscene, when we're in the cutscene, you can see how, like, look at the, um, texture on this, on this, uh, like, name plate. It, it was, like, so pixelated. I was like, bruh, the, the JPEG here is, like, the lowest resolution shit in the world. Um, what's up, Abra? Um, alright. I just kind of want to... Ooh, wait. Great deal of survey work ahead of us. I wonder if this game rewards exploration. Like, I wonder if I'm, like, wasting my time investigating things. Nothing seems relevant to you. Okay. Alright, fine. Fine, you successfully disincentivized me from exploring. Um. Okie dokie, okie dokie. I. Oh, okay. I do want to change my outfit. Jarvis rage quitting exploring. I'm done exploring. Um. Okay, I can dig it. At least they're closed toe. It just doesn't feel safe. It just feels like I'm running around. I'm running around a lot. 
and uh, I feel like I should have at least some some sort of shoe. Can anyone tell me what this game is about in 10 words or less? Um, in ancient Pokemon times, you must complete Pokedex. The Pokedex. Pokemon kill you in Texas? Um, I see you've changed. <laughs> Dude, Jarvis, you've kind of changed, actually. I do kind of, I do like the fit, though. What just fell? Oh, my um, my satchel. I took my satchel off. His shoes remind me of Shrek. Oh, this is a classic. Isn't this the hat that... Is this hat you had in Gen 4 or in Gen 3? Because this hat looks very familiar. It would make sense if it was Gen 4. Now present yourself to the commander. Gen 4? Okay, then it... Then it's just a callback then, uh, because this is this is the Gen Four region. Um, in his office on the third floor. What's happened in the night stream? Uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus just came out, so I'm doing a little playing of that. I'm also oh by the way, I don't know who cares, but I'm gonna be playing this all day tomorrow. I'm gonna sleep and then I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna play. So, I've, like, set aside my entire Friday. Uh, Anastasia, my friend, is coming over tomorrow and picking up Dipper and taking him on a hike. And I'm just going to play. <laughs> oh, this guy looks interesting yeah like look at the texture on his outfit it's like look it like just doesn't feel like it was meant to be viewed in this resolution you know what i mean what does this guy sound like i've been waiting for you i am Kamado, commander of the galaxy expedition team Hmm. So you are Jarvis. It's an honor. You know your manners, at least. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from a rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Try to throw him. Hmm. You've got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us, sus, might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're a part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Jarvis, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. The Galaxy Team's entry trial, complete. <laughs> So the commander has already accepted you. But understand this. You you begin as a no-star recruit among, amongst our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Oh, I'm looking so much forward tomorrow to getting my coffee and my breakfast and just like sitting down and playing this. That'll be so sick. Because I'm a little tired now, but I want to go for a while. Um, perform well as a member of the Survey Corps and you'll move up through the ranks. That that's a that's a gameplay loop that I I think is going to be good for me. I love moving up ranks 
<laughs> Indeed, you see. The more you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer to that goal of ours, uh, of yours. That goal of yours to seek out every last Pokemon. Remember, it's a goal of yours that you've always had. It's always been your goal to catch every Pokemon. That's what you said when you fell out of the sky. You were like, I need to catch all the Pokemon, Professor Laventon. Can you help me do that? And I set aside something that I was busy doing in my own dreams to help you with your goal. Here, here, you'll need this. Ooh, Pokeball crafting recipe. One apricorn and one tumble stone. And 3,000 Poke Dollars? Do we know the name for Poke money in Pokemon World? Because it's the same, it's always been this P with like, it's like, you know how Yen is a Y with the two lines? It's a P with the two lines. But I've never pin, I don't know what it is. Pokemon doll, Poke Dollars, that's what I always call it. Poke Coin. Pollers. Pien. <laughs> Pew. Pretty sure it's Poke Dollars. At least in America. Pokecoin does sound like crypto. Akari, you're an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Pokin, yeah. It's Pokemon Dollars when I Googled it. Cool. I just called it P. Um, all right, yeah, teach me to craft. Crafting means making your items with your own two hands. You know, I just thought about this. Somebody is for sure gonna, like, you know, because I'm sure you can, like, decompile uh, Twitch games and stuff. Someone's probably gonna make a high res model version of this game eventually, because it seems like the type of game that people will invest a lot of time into. I bet that'll happen. I'll watch the YouTube video that someone makes about it when it happens. Um, yeah, it's actually called Push and P. In Japan, it's just yen. The symbol was invented for localized versions. Okay, well, that explains it. That explains it then. Because I was like, it's just yen, right? Okay, great. That makes so much more sense for the conversion rate then, too. Because now you can start to... So, like, she just handed us 30 bucks. Because um, yen, I mean, well, like, the easy math is like 100 yen is a dollar. Boyo, thanks for the uh, thanks for the tier one. The basics of crafting. Is that Pokemon just asleep? Abra's always asleep. It's kind of Abra's thing. Abra just chills, and then whenever you bother Abra, it just teleports away. Anth, Anth, is that this person's name? Anth. Well, I'm trying to imagine what they would look like. What is a name like Ant? Let's guess the voice. Okay. We've already got uh, Akari. We've already got Commander Silene. Um, I wonder if this is going to be like the cool guy. Like the other dude who's like 16 or 17. So he's like a little bit older than you. And he's kind of a cool guy. Well done earning a place on the team. My name's Anth. Damn it! <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Okay, wait. What? My name's Anth. I'm the local clothier. The professor asked me that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. Everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself to the village's humble shops. <laughs> Away I go. This way to the craft works, Jarvis. Surprise, Grandma. You never expect Grandma. Um, visit the Craftworks to learn how to craft items. So they want me to fast travel. No, I can walk. Dude, I am... I am so, like, 
it is so easy for this like marker to blend in to the surroundings because it's not like a different color palette. You know what I mean? Like obviously you can see it here, but do you know what I mean? It's easy to like scan past it because it like doesn't it like I, I like wish it was a different color that didn't match the surroundings. Um, but may maybe it's just my eyes. Oh, but workbench here. Okay. Yeah. That's a cool little workbench. Um. <laughs> Why are you wearing paper bags? Yeah, they're clearly Yeezys. Yeezy, Yeezy, Yeezy jump, just jumped over Totodile. Um. Uh, Yeezy, Yeezy, Yeezy just jumped over Don Fan. All right, just jumped over Don Fan. Uh, okay, we can use workbenches. This is literally Minecraft, huh? Yeah, it's literally Breath of the Wild, and it's literally Minecraft. All right, so wait, this is just a recipe. Okay, so I can say, oh, oh. They stole my car. <laughs> Interesting. Yo, this game is literally Sonic Forces. This is actually literally a Sudoku puzzle, actually. Can you wear a crop top in this game? That's the real question. I'm behind on the gaming streams. Did you finish Zelda? No, I'm too Divine Beasts into Master Mode. Um, I just haven't streamed it recently. You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. And they enjoy it. They enjoy it, and it's fun for them. <laughs> With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of the power to catch them. This is literally just Tetris? Yeah, dude. I don't... It's kind of plagiarism, actually. Look at the woman in the background in her, like, four-frame animation. Do you see this? It's like an animated GIF. I'm pointing at the screen, but you can't see me pointing, obviously. The woman's sweeping. It's so funny. Um, the background runs at 24 FPS. The background is a flip book. Um, <laughs> she's sweeping the fuck out of that one spot. Um, it's a weird mix of barren and nice looking. Yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. Again, I'm going to be playing this all day tomorrow. Uh, Pokedex, a volume for compiling the collected. Oh, I know what that is. It's like a written Pokedex. Tasks with unreported data. Ooh. Why are they gray? Because we haven't caught them. And, oh, and we have to catch. So I heard that you have to like gather information about the Pokemon, not just catch them. Which is interesting. Um... The entire history region of Obsidian Field Lands. This is interesting. Uh, uh. My game stalled out at installation at 58%. I was lucky. I bought it a few days ago and pre-downloaded it. Uh, I'm like wondering if there's anything more to do in this. Can I see which ones I've caught? Oh, A. Here we go. Number caught. Oh, these are research tasks for shinks. Just for shinks. Interesting. Why would you catch 25 shanks? Interesting. Maybe they'll explain that. <laughs> the Pokedex is their obituary. Um, number you've defeated with ground type moves. Times you've seen it use bite. Number of different forms you've obtained. So that's like... Oh, interesting. So it takes a lot to complete... 25 shakes for research purposes. Um, Bench quest collects eggs when eat pidgeys. Yeah, for real. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the Professor Feld's bug ass. Well, I hope it's fun to do that. I hope it's fun. <laughs> it better be fun to do that. Uh... You're getting Pokemon Coliseum vibes. You know, 
<clears throat> it's been many a year since I, uh, I didn't even play it. I watched my friend play Pokemon Coliseum, like, back when I was, like, I don't know, a child. You don't have to do all the tasks to complete the entry? Oh, thank goodness. Does anybody know if... Like, because I will just progress the game. Part of me wants to explore, but I kind of get the feeling that the game isn't going to reward that. How long's our playtime? Seven hours? Yeah, better add more Shinx. How about you catch a, f a hundred Shinx? Ooh, a, a side quest. People who have something to ask you will have a request icon displayed above them. Is there really much to explore? Well, like, there's all these doors and houses and things, and I want to talk to these NPCs, but I'm like, are they going to say anything to me? You know what I mean? That is a frame drops. Oh, okay. So here's the shop. I, I feel rewarded a little bit. I feel rewarded. Um, so Tumblestone costs 60 bucks. Apricorn. Also, these little animations are adorable. I like I kind of love them. Um Okay, can I buy recipes from you? Wait, what's the deal? Crafting recipes. You can buy recipes. Bugwort blooms. Dazzling honey and cake lure base. Um crafting ox powers. <laughs> Yo. Yo, if you want, if if you if you want the aux cable in my car, you actually have to have a recipe. Um, so you better bring two bunches of sword cap and a pep up plant if you want to ride with me. Um, aux guard, iron bark tongue, and pep up plant. Pep Peppa Pig. Okay. Simona. Oh, here's all the cores. Security core, construction core, agriculture core, and then survey core, I assume. That's a me. How do you think the game compares to other Pokemon games? Uh, so all the dialogue about Pokemon games degrading and stuff, like this is not even comparable to those games because it's a completely different style of game uh, that allegedly they've never done before. And so far, I mean, it seems I'm curious to see where it goes, you know? So I, I don't think you can really compare it to any of the other Pokemon release, releases. Wait, what? Wait, can I just throw a Pokeball here? Yeah, no, I can't. It gives me an X. Oh, I'm not... I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna crouch by accident a lot. Don't slack off. Okay, well, I wanted to explore, so... Thanks for making me feel bad. Okay, we got a little, we got the leaves moving in the wind. We like that. Shrine Guardian, watch over us. Lucille sells various protective charms that come in handy when you're out expo- Oh, I'm here to give thanks to the Guardian of the Shrine. Uh, that's not, that kind of sounds like my professor voice. I'm trying to do... There's like this grandma in Digimon the movie. 2000, the one that came out in the year 2000. Uh, Matt and TK's grandma is whose voice I was trying to do, but... I'm here to give thanks to the guardian of the shrine who watches over all the life in Jubilife Village. Uh, are you, child? If you're here with the prayer of the shrine, perhaps my charms will help. No, I, I'm not. We can't. Okay. I want to stay in good health. That's a lot of money, so I'm not going to do that. I'll figure it out. 
Uh, fun fact, in the Japanese version, Matt's grandma is voiced by the same voice actor as Joe. Fascinating. Uh, another fun fact that I'm sure you know, but other people don't, is that that Digimon movie is uh, three movies put together, <laughs> and it's wild. Oh, interesting. It's three Japanese movies put together. Um... There's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Wurmple? Yeah, I've heard of it. Oh, evolution. Whoa, that's crazy. Yo, I... Whoa, that's wild, y'all. Okay, this guy wants a Wurmple. You know what? Normally, side quests I don't love. I, like, don't like doing them. But I do want to give this guy a Wurmple. We're going to get you a Wurmple... Beau Beauregard. We're gonna get you a Wurmple Beauregard. Okay, so to answer the question about do you get rewarded for exploring, it seems like there's something talking to everybody. Find out all about Starly. When, did she say, when I see Starly, I feel whole? That is so precious. Okay, yeah, I can get a Starly. This is gonna, This is like me in life. I want to please everyone, and I just like, uh, I over-encumber myself with all of everyone's wishes. They're like, I would be happy in life if I just, if I just had a Bidoof to, to call my friend. Oh, it's the dude in that picture. Toshi, I like that name. Hey, Irv. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corps? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I gotta see one with my own eyes. All right, so what does Shinx's ears look like? The burden of people pleasers, <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's like, that's why I haven't left town yet. I'm just like, all right, anybody else in the town need their dreams to come true at the hands of uh, a 15 year old kid? All right. So this is, this is Jubilee Village, Obsidian Fieldlands. Let's do it. I love a strong, oh, this is cute. Can I do anything in this? Okay. Surgery core? <laughs> yeah, survey core. Yeah, it just reminds me of Attack on Titan as well. But it's the same concept as Attack on Titan, because the survey core and Attack on Titan, you know, go out beyond the walls to explore, and that's kind of what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Okay, we kind of got there. Oh, interesting. What is this? This is an interesting interface. Instantly check the research tasks. I don't... How am I supposed to read that? Or does it... Wait. Is it really those um bars or is it text? Now I'm confused. Dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge! Does anybody know what I'm referencing there? All I said was dodge, but do you know what I'm referencing? If you do, you're my friend. DBZ abridged! Ozma J got it. TFS dev on ball. Yeah. Yeah, peop yeah it's uh, Dragon Ball Z abridged. Shout out to Team Four Star. Uh, that beautiful flowing bit of gymnastics is what we call a dodge. Oh, you just did a roll. Um, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Okay, that's dodgeball. Um, the security core had to collect me when I got the business end of some Shinx's Thundershock. Uh, but don't worry, I've got lots of experience to draw on. I'll teach you plenty. 
Oh, that's a DMCA question. I don't, I don't know if anybody's tried watching uh, DBZ abridged on Twitch, because uh, I know they had a lot of trouble with Toei like on YouTube. That's just if you wanna, if you wanna really test your luck. Okay, so far I really don't like walking ten feet to another person. Uh, focus. ZL, and then press the down button to open the Pokedex, see which tasks you have. All right. <coughs> okay, yeah, you, they kind of, I haven't really seen a Pokemon since they gave me a lot of new information, so. So let's ZL. All right, and then I can do this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so already they're like, you press down, right? But if you hold down, if you hold down, it just puts you at the Bidoof spot in the Pokedex and then you just keep going down because you're holding down. So you just got to tap down. That's annoying. That's annoying. Cause, cause I probably will want to do this, and then I'll accidentally do that. Okay, fine, fine. I'll tap it. Um. Okay. What else? What else do I want to do? Um. How do I? Oh, I dodge with Y. Wait, that's which? Why? Oh, it is. It's not exactly like Breath of the Wild. It's just a slightly different button. It's Y instead of X. What happens if I dodge at the... Okay, it won't let me attack the Bidoof. Main character can make sounds. That's new. Great point. Great point. These, dude, I'm saying it. This just doesn't look good. Oh, okay, cool. You can pick up stuff in the world. So that's a little, oh, wait, can I, can I do a jump? Oh, I can just dodge. Wait, I can dodge whenever I want. Dude, I bet the speed running strat is just going to be to like, just do this. I bet that's fast. I bet that's faster than running <laughs> or wait. No, you can sprint and there's no stamina. So I bet. Sprinting is probably the best. Um, oh, it wants to fight. I just realized. Oh, it's very low level, so be careful, Cyndaquil. Okay. Bidoof is loafing around? What are you, sla uh, freaking slack off or something? Nice. Ooh. Oh my god, experience share is on. I cannot believe they've ruined the difficulty in Pokemon game. Okay, sorry. Who am I? Right, caught myself a couple of Bidoofs. Uh, There's some Starlies over there. Do I have to talk to you? Can I just go catch these Starlies? That seems like easy to catch, right? How, can I throw one from here? All right, cool. Oh, it got out. Does that mean it's going to be harder to... I'll try the other one. Ugh. Can I charge it up? What if I... Because I, like, I want to try... Not, I'm not just getting point-blank range, you know what I mean? Um, cause I'm just like, 
Oh, it knew I was targeting it? Why did it run away as soon as I targeted it? Like, it knew? Yeah, like, it sees the Pokeball coming out, and then it runs away. That makes sense. And it flies away. Hey, we got one. Oh, it just went to me? Number you've caught without being spotted. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a Shinx. Be very, very quiet. Okay, first let's uh, try this thing. Let's try the hitting the tree. Okay, that worked. Ooh, Orenberry. Not that I know what that does in this game, but... Okay, so far... The, wait, hold on. I feel like I just became 2D under the shadow. I feel like I look 2D here. <laughs> okay. Um. Be very, very quiet. I even whispered, I whispered, let's go. Let's go. Gotta catch another shakes. Yes. All right. I don't know why, but this reminds me of the Captain Crunch video game. That is something. Okay. What else is around here? I'm trying to take my... Uh, ooh, there's a Wurmple. Hang on. Hang on. This is important. Y'all think I can just dodge? Oh, that doesn't seem... What? <laughs> no wonder I didn't get hurt when I fell from the sky. I was like, when did we get the paraglider? We got to get the man's dream worm. You're right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He saw me and he kind of got a little antsy. So I was like. What if I don't lock on at all? Can I just sn like sharpshoot? Yo, that was rewarding. I, it got out, but I'm glad it didn't make me, like... Alright, let's go for this one. I mean, I'm looking at it head-on. Does he try for another... Another sharp shot? I'm too good. I've got the sharpest... I got the sharpest throw in the... All right. Okay. All right, we caught a Wurmple. All right, let's go... Let's go see what this crystal is over here. Interesting. Let's throw... Uh, a Pokemon at it. Oh! Tumblestone. There's more tumblestone over here. Hello, Wimple. Hello, indeed. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Cyndaquil's already out. Cyndaquil's already out. Ouchies. Oh, Cynical got poisoned. Oh, no.
Don't Wurmple away. Didn't use a super effective move, SMH. I don't want to kill it in one shot. Certainly, certainly you know, certainly you know that about catching Pokemon. That's the first rule about catching Pokemon. But Pokemon's fainted, you can't catch it. Um, you can make more Pokeballs, I'm pretty sure. Absolutely. Uh, using this material. The trees look so bad. I mean, look. Can I climb? Can I dodge? How do I get up here then? Yo, come on now. What is this? What is this collision detection right here? What is this? What is this? Come on now. Come on now. I'm like, look, I'm not I'm not a I'm not a games journalist or anything. But I'm like, what is this? Why? There's no jump, there's just dodge. But I'm just obsessed with the fact that I'm walking on nothing. All right, I'm, I'm done shitting on the game. For now. All right, we got some apricorns. We got some um, whatever that crystal was, and that's all we need to make po more Pokeballs. Um, what if I just like run up on this Wurmple? Like, what's that strategy? You just go, what's up, dog? Oh, he wants to fight. All right, let's faint him and see what happens. Wurmple's keeping its guard up. Whoops. Keep your guard up against this ember right here. Keep your guard up against this ratio. All right, yeah, so if you defeat a Pokemon, you don't get to catch it, which is something that we knew into it. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's a Shanks, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a Shanks. Ouchie. Dude, my Cyndaquil is really getting... I need to head back. I, by the way, for what it's worth, I'm not... I'm not disappointed. Um... I literally was like, oh, Cynical fainted, okay. <laughs> That's my, my, uh, the end of my Nuzlocke run. Can you not feed Cynical Berries? I just figure why waste, uh, items when there's probably some Pokemon Center equivalent. Oops. I understand that I can probably feed it berries, but like, why would I do that when I, like, I have all these other Pokemon. The Pokemon's not dead, you know what I mean? I have all these other Pokemon that can battle, um, so I just like don't see the need to uh, waste crafting materials. When like these enemies, if anything, the Cyndaquil's over leveled and it keeps knocking out all the Pokemon. You know what I mean? You think they have Pokemon Centers figured out? For sure they have a town, a village healer. Alright. I kind of just want to run and gun and see if I... Yeah, that's that feels good. To just like run and gun. Like that's a nice... Feels nice for whatever reason. Am I down to two Pokeballs? I can make more. I just feel like they gave me 50 to begin with because they 
expecting me to use them. And uh, I doubt it's not I doubt it's gonna be difficult to get more Pokeballs. How's water work? What is this outline around me? Literally, dude, what is this game? What is this? What is this? <laughs> oh, can I make it up there? What if I did it like here? Oh my god, it's a Snorlax and he's angry! Oh god. I know, I know not to fight him. I know not to fuck with him. So what's funny is I'm not like, I would say the reason I'm so curious about the graphics is because I wonder like, oh, is it sleeping? Oh, listen to it sleep. Um, is like, oh, come on. Fuck. I think I threw my last Pokeball. <laughs> What's up, dog? Do you want to fight? Okay. Ow. Do I have health somewhere? Oh, that's pretty strong, actually. I don't really know if this Badoop can take it. I know tr they said trainers can get knocked out, but I'm like, do I have health? Like, what is, what's the system for this? Like, I knew Pokemon could hit you, but like, wh where's the, all right, I should, I should go back. I should go back. Well, what's this? Are these orange berries again? Yeah. Oh, I just wanted to zoom in just now. What is that over there? What does this mean? Does that mean a Pokemon sees me? Like a dangerous Pokemon sees me? Oh. Oh yeah, so my question is really just like, they know it like doesn't look amazing, but like what were the conversations like? Like how did we get to this point? And it was, it, at what point did they make it a, you know, a decision? Cause it's not like they're, they're like, this is a graphical masterpiece. Were they like, we hit performance issues with the Switch and like couldn't do all the fancy stuff that Breath of the Wild did? Um, Cause I know Breath of the Wild like cheats to get around like, Hopefully it's because it's a huge game. Yeah, that would be ideal. I yeah, I'm just curious because obviously like, it's a whatever it is. It was a trade off for something. Sword and Shield sold well, and we barely touched the graphics. Aren't the graphics worse than Sword and Shield? Maybe I'm just misremembering. different style but I mean I'm talking about like like look at what happens when I like first of all look at the water flicker you know what I mean this isn't an art style this isn't a, a, a choice and then look at the look at the outline around my body I don't think they don't care I don't think they don't care I think that's what everybody says but I just don't I just don't believe it. They clearly care. They put a lot of work into this game. Uh, 
Weasel. The dangers of taking damage. If you take too much damage within a short period of time, you'll be in the danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of your screen turn red. Okay, so you, your health bar is basically the screen. Um, just because it's bad graphics doesn't make it bad. Not saying that at all. I mean, we, I've, I've repeated that over and over and over again. I'm, I'm talking to the chat about like, uh, like I'm just curious about the trade-offs that they made. I don't like, as long as the gameplay is good, I don't really care about the graphics, but the, uh, some things are jarring. Like, I don't think I've ever commented on graphics in a game on stream before, but like I'm floating, I'm floating on the rocks. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, wow, the collision detection doesn't even like. It's just, it's just interesting. Um. When you walk up bigger hillsides, it looks like you're climbing stairs. I think the model is climbing stairs. I think it's a climbing stairs animation that they're using for the side of mountains. That's like... Alright, I can't get up this. Um, Wait, can I just fast travel back to town? Yeah, because I want to... Um... Or this isn't town, but let me craft some Pokeballs. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, interesting. Can I not fast travel? I mean, I'm okay with that, actually. But I don't have, like, a map. So I'm like, how do I... I guess I go back to... Wait. I'm actually kind of confused now. Oh, he takes me back to Jubilee Village? Okay. I'm trying to figure out how the game wants me to travel back to where I was. Because I'm like, do I go back to Jubilife and then I leave? Y yeah, wait, what? I don't understand what this, what this was. Um... Oh, okay. I don't, I don't remember seeing her before, or seeing this before, but again, I mentioned how I keep missing it. Alright. That's absurd. Okay, at least I took damage. At least I took damage. Does it go away over time? Yeah, it does. Okay. I actually want to focus on collecting stuff because even though I collected a reasonable amount of things, I wasn't able to make that that many Pokeballs. Um, oh, but you've got experience for that. That's kind of interesting. The Starleys want to leave me alone because I don't want to bother them right now. Just me and Bidoof against the world over here. Yeah, 
You you gotta use Cyndaquil, Jarvis. My Cyndaquil is... Oh, my Cyndaquil... I thought... Wait, is my Cyndaquil healed now? When did that happen? Just during the cutscene? You think I can break this? Oh, the Shinx tried to attack, but... Oops. Oh, okay, I can miss. That's good. I kind of feel like I should be using whatever Pokemon's going to be close, like, evolves the fastest. I feel like Starly evolves pretty early, because it has three evolutions. Obviously, my starter evolves early. Um... All right, whatever. We can just start with uh, Cyndaquil. Have I seen the leaks? No, I haven't seen any leaks. No one leak anything. Um, do I want to catch more Shinx or do I just want to move on? I think I'm going to move on. But I am curious. So, defeated with ground type moves seen it use bite so i just gotta stick around and wait for to use bite starly i haven't defeated any starlies let me try defeating it wait hold on why is why is are the red arrows next to number caught but or next to number you've evolved but i haven't done that yet that's interesting i've already obtained two different forms of starly that's cool wait let me defeat a starly in battle who sees me? Shinx? Buzz off, Shinx. I want to fight this Charlie. Can I just fight it even though it doesn't want to fight? Red arrows are worth two research levels. Got it. Oh, it ran away. Okay, so that's something that can happen. Does that happen with any Pokemon that's not aggro? Um. Fight me. Ooh, it was stunned. All right, sorry. All right, so. Okay, now I've defeated. So I've basically done everything but evolve it. I wonder if they, they'll give me retroactive levels or if I truly haven't done enough to the Starly to get Starly on the Pokedex, because that's wild. That would be wild if I haven't done enough to get Starly on the Pokedex. Oh, that was my little uh, check mark. Oh, portable crafting kit? Hell yeah. Wait, 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 wait. It, it only be able to use the materials in my satchel. Versus at a workbench, I can use more materials than my satchel. Where do I, do I have, how do I have... Is there like external storage? I don't understand how this works. Oh, <sighs> uh, you can store items. Okay, cool. There was the storage box at the camp of the crafting bench. Got it. Wait, sorry, what was she saying? I have gotten some research tasks done, so I'm just gonna go to the professor. I've probably done enough. Okay, there. Can 
kind of far away. Can I even... Wait, am I slowing down? No, I am. Do I have to go around? Or am I slowing down? I can't... It's like, is it invisible stamina? How do I whistle sprint in this game? Yo, I kind of feel like this is the fastest way to move. Does that seem... Does that seem right to anybody else? I kind of feel like it's the fastest way to move. All right, let's do a little test. All right, let's see. We're gonna go from, hmm, hmm. Okay, we're gonna go from, hmm, these flowers. So like right here, perpendicular to flowers, to that, that last tree, that second tree. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do a timer on my phone. Stopwatch. All right. All right. Um, how am I gonna do this? Uh, oh yeah, it's Y to dodge. All right. On my mark, get set. Go. Oh shit. All right, that was like, that was like, sub five seconds. Um, I, it wasn't very scientific though. Let's try it again. Ready, set, go. All right, roughly six seconds. Okay, now let me just do it. Let me just do this with normal walking. This is very unscientific, all right? Ready, set, go. This is regular walking. Okay, and that's like, not that much different. I'd say close close to seven seconds. Um, let me do, I don't know, I this up before. All right, whatever. This is very unscientific once again. And, okay, so it's like slightly slower, and then, uh, but that adds up, and then with sprinting, the problem with sprinting is that you, like, seemingly slow down. Ready, set, go. Okay, sprinting is definitely faster. Sprinting was, like, dramatically faster. But do you stop, but do you stop, uh, sprinting? Yeah, okay, so there's some sort of stamina. There's some sort of stamina. You saw that, right? He goes, ugh. Wait, 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 wait. I'm like, how do I restart my, sp my sprint? Wait, so run. Wait, run. Click in. Sprint. Wait, sprint. I like how, yeah, how long is the region? No, he like. Okay, so if I keep. There is cert. There's definitely invisible stamina for sure. Because, yeah, sprint until tired, roll a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, I think that's going to be it. Um, seems like you slow down on the uphills, but I think I was going down here. Let's see. It just takes longer. Yeah, I wish there was a visual for stamina so that you could... Got juked.
But I think it's also that it's like I'm now imagining an invisible stamina meter that's like going down and then recharging like in Breath of the Wild. Big surprise. And so what I think is happening is if you run out of stamina. Wait, I got to go this way. If you run out of stamina. Ugh, and then you try to run again. You run out of stamina really fast because you haven't finished charging up your bar. Someone will figure out. Nintendo really doesn't give a shit about FPS, huh? Damn. I mean, yeah, I mean, we we've kind of talked this one to death, unfortunately, but yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, don't spoil. Don't spoil, please. Oh, if it isn't the crafting kit. Yeah. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, what have I done? Okay, I, I caught a lot of Pokemon, I think. All these empty slots make me feel like I didn't do enough. Wait, let's see. This is a uh, three, six, nine. So it's 10 per row. So he gave me 50 Pokeballs and expecting me to catch 40 Pokemon. I really fucked up. Um, I made a bunch of money. Bah. Pokemon research points, okay. Okay, so I so, Cynical is complete. Wait, why Cynical complete though? I mean, okay. So yeah, I'm research level. Oh, 10 here. Four on Bidoof, six on Starly. Oh, it looks like I got a lot for doing a, a lot of things twice. Or, or got the second check mark. This is interesting. Level seven on Wormful. Okay, so that's interesting. Well, now the completionist in me is like, I want to keep going. What are my thoughts so far? It's fun. I don't think I've finished the tutorial, to be honest. Like, I haven't really figured out what the the gameplay loop is. I mean, other than going and doing these missions. But obviously, they're going to get more. I just spent 10 minutes pooping listening to Jarvis time movement. <laughs> I, it's not even for, like, straps, even. That was just, I was like, am I going crazy or what's going on with this movement? Um, okay. Ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Silene. Completed Pokedex looks like it might be a chore. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I mean, here it seems easy because all the Pokemon are around. All right, I'll go to Silene. I really want to go finish those Pokemon. Does it seem like it would get repetitive? I cannot make any sweeping judgments about the game yet. Because I really, like... I feel like I'm just in the, the start of it. You know? I would feel so bad if I made a recommendation of someone to spend 60 bucks based on what I've seen so far of the game. You know what I mean? All right. Wait. Okay. Something queer. Thank you so much. First star. Am I streaming this tomorrow too? Yeah, I'm going to play all day tomorrow. I can now use heavy balls. <laughs> okay, Pokemon level 20. Crafting recipe for heavy balls. Apricorn and a black tumble stone. Ooh, revives. Vivichoke? That sounds like a Pokemon's name. That sounds like a Pokemon's name. Uh, Medicinal Leaks, two of them. Um, 
I, someone said, I hope the game subverts my expectations and this Galactic Core ends up being the good guys. But aren't you now saying that your expectations are for your expectations to be subverted? So then, doesn't that mean that they should subvert those expectations for you to be surprised? <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm kind of... I want to, I want, I want to do more, so that's good. The music is good. Eating our favorite potato mochi. This is cute. Have I already taken out a custom burger? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta go finish all those side quests now. Is this a new game? Yeah, it just came out. Pokemon Legends Arceus. The next day. Training grounds. If you've caught a Pokemon, go to the pastures. All right, I'm I'm gonna go to the pastures. I'm going to finish these side quests and then I'm gonna go to the pastures. All right. Uh, where is Beauregard? I owe him a Shinx. No, what do I owe him? Is it Beauregard who needs a Shinx? What does Beauregard need? Wurmple. How could I forget? Um, let me give him the worst one. Not that it matters. Hmm. Yo, these have a lot of HP, but like... 3527, 3525, 3525. I think that's probably the one. That did not matter. I don't know why I spent time on that. Ooh, I should evolve Wurmple now that I mention it, because that evolves very quickly. Beautisha, Beautifred, or Bojean? Chat? What do we think? Bojean! Everyone's saying Bojean. I, I was feeling Bojean, too. Bujean. He's Beauregard, so I assume it's Bojean. Wurple can evolve. Ooh, we got Dazzling Honey. Ugh. Um, did I get up early today? I did get up early today. <laughs> I was like, why am I so tired? Then again, I am always tired. <laughs> Let me get in the Bojeans. Slow down there, partner. I'm just sweeping this single spot. Oh, hairstyling. Maybe later. Oh, you're the costumer. Or the... What is it? How do you fit in the bow jeans? Wait, where's the person who... There were other people who needed Pokemon. Was she a person that needed Pokemon? No, she just talked about Bidoof. Um... Wait. Oh, this guy. Wait, he wanted Shinx, right? Yeah. You want to see what the ears on a Shinx look like? Oh, this one's way faster. You can have this one. Oh, wait. This is a level... This is a level two... I wasn't looking at the levels before, so I was probably... Yeah, the Wurmples are not actually comparable. Uh, these Shinx have dramatically different stats. 
this the level two is so much better than the level three except for its defense stat so you, you can have this one apple bottom jeans yeah is he gonna ask me to nickname it Ooh, so we got some potions. Okay, wait. Can I just press missions and quests, requests? Okay. Wait. Requests, yeah. Adorable Starly. Who wants the Starly? Mar Marley wants the Starly. Oh, and I can put a little... I can put a little flag? Oh, I thought it was going to show me on the map where Marley is. Is that? No, that's not. Is that? That is, that is Marley. Yeah? Yeah, it is Marley. They didn't... It wasn't the same... Wait. Oh, I got to complete the Pokedex entry. Got it. Got it. Okay, so where are we supposed to go? Training grounds. Akari at the training grounds. Can I not, though? Can I just, like... Oh, you can zoom? That's cool. Oh! Was that not intuitive to anyone else? You mean I'm here in a local map, but then if I zoom all the way out, I can fast travel? I can't fast travel. I can't fast travel here. Oh, thank God. I was going to be so pissed off. Um, You can't fast travel here. Okay. It's just the map that looks like the fast travel map. Um, Cause I was gonna see if I could. Okay, so they really want me to go to the training grounds. All right. Oh wait, but I need to go drop off Pokemon at the uh, Is where's the have your Pokedex checked? A request from my training grounds. Where's the stable? Farm. Practice field. Pastures. Is there? Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, I was just right next to it. I just got turned around on the map. Yeah, so, okay, pasture one. Wait, what do you mean pasture one? Are these already in the pasture? I can leave one of these, two of these Bidoofs, right? Move. Okay, so, so they automatically go to the box, just like in the game, but it's the pasture that they go to. Um, I like these little profile pictures for the Pokemon. That's fun. Uh, is there anybody who's really strong that I should be bringing out? Oh, I wanted to keep Wurmple out because of, uh, evolution reasons. Let me move Wurmple here real quick so that I can compare all these stats. So we got level six, level five, level four. Um, level four has the same stat line and attack. I don't know if it's, yeah, okay. Okay, this level 4 is seems to have way better stats than even level 6. So I'm just going to keep level 4 on my party over here. Alright. You can't have more than 600 person. Because I think if I do... If I do this, I only have what's with me. But when you catch a new Pokemon, it goes to the stable. Did stats get reworked? Yeah, probably. I, 
I don't know how it works, cause like, yeah, I don't know how it works. Oh, what? You have a Pikachu? Man, just look at Pikachu's shadow. Breath of the Wild cheats a lot with the shadows too, so the shadows in Breath of the Wild don't look good. And so knowing that, like, I look at the shadow here and I'm like, damn. Wait, why did it make that sound? It just went or something. I didn't make a Pika noise. Oh, that is a weird sound for Pikachu. Right? Yeah, I gotta turn on ray tracing. Oh, I, I'm not, my Wurmple isn't ready for this. My poor Wurmple. Can I change Pokemon? Wait, critical hit. Oh, okay. I was like, how did he do that? <laughs> I mean, wait a second. Wait a second. I kind of want to cheese this with my Wurmple. If I can. Because I would get Wurmple some serious experience. So let's see if we can cheese it and beat Pikachu by, uh, by poison damage. Whoa, we got two attacks on me. All right, fine. Well, I should have done it differently then, shouldn't I have? Who needs the level? Starly can use the experience. Drinking game anytime uh, Jarvis mentions Breath of the Wild. How about whenever the game mentions Breath of the Wild? How about that? Wait, I, oh, I... Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's like they even have the same freaking... Let's look off of the peak. You know? It's, the game is cosplaying Breath of the Wild. Both have mountains, same game. You've got to be kidding, right? You've got to be kidding. Wait, do you know how many mechanics they share in common? That's got to be a joke. That's got to be a joke. I'm, I'm not going to engage with that. That's, that's got to be a joke. It's clear that the big, the suits at, at, at Game Freak were like, we've got to do Breath of the Wild. Oh my God, this is, this is the worst way I've ever seen to represent types. I want Pokemon Breath of the Wild just as much as the next guy, for the record. Um, I couldn't have thought of a worse way to represent uh, a type chart. <laughs> um, wow, this is, this is something. Did Zisu? I was like, am is is I think my character's short and Zisu's tall, but you know, Zisu's looks awesome. <laughs> uh, and to, yeah, the power stance. Oh my god, Zisu! Dude. Zisu will beat your ass. And she's like the... 
Was she? She's the captain. Direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Oh god, I got. Okay, wait. Agile style and strong style moves. Once your Pokemon has mastered a move, you can have it use the move in either agile style or strong style. This is like fucking battle styles. Um. Okay. Uh, agile style or strong style by pressing the L or R button to the left or right button when selecting the move in battle. Sometimes your Pokemon will naturally master a move and unlock these extra styles simply by leveling up. Agile style. Reduces the power of the move, raises the user's action speed, uses more PP than usual. They both use more PP than usual. Okay, that's okay. Um, ugh. <laughs> Adding Zisu to my buff girls to simp for. We immediately stand, yeah. Um, strong style boosts the power of the move, lowers using it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. They could have included normal style, what you're already doing. Uses a normal amount of PP. I like I like that she's holding this face. We gotta meet my. I feel like most of this has just been, yeah, learning mechanics, meeting characters. I'm curious to see what this looks like when we're done learning mechanics and meeting characters, you know? this wormhole. Okay, so you leave the village to activate the fast travel, it seems. Seems like this is the only town. Well, it's like, uh, this is the, it's the, I, I maybe, maybe. Boo. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. What's my opinion on the game so far? I mean, I'm enjoying it. Hit a secret backstrike technique. Hit a wild Pokemon from behind for a successful catch. Yeah, I I was um I think I did that earlier, and I was like maybe this maybe this is good. Um. Volo, you already know Lo. All right. Do you, yo? Marvelous rich tone of what? Cricketot. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Perry, you got anything? Um. Okay, and then we got. Okay. Hmm. And then how about you? Oh, this is Link over here, like. Link looking ass. You're the kid who fell. From oh, cake lore. Yeah, I do want to know about this. Mushroom cake sounds awful. Give more of the item. Okay, springy mushroom. Do I already have one of those? No. No, I don't. Okay. All right, so we're on the lookout for Mushroom. We're on the lookout for uh, uh, Cricketot. I'm going to try and... Uh, I'm going to try and get this Wormful some levels. That's wild. That's That shouldn't happen. Look, it's the opening, it's the opening sequence to Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, but where are the where are the Pokemon at? I mean, there's Bidoofs. 
Seriously, where is the glider? Like, now I feel like... Uh... Wait. No, I don't want to do that. Watch fly works like the glider. Honestly, I would love it. I would love it. Oh, who's... You're afraid of my worm ball? Come on. Ouch. Wow, that really hurt. <laughs> um, I don't think this is gonna... Damn. Wurmple's weak. Oh, he looked around. That's good. Yeah, I was like, let's, let's not, let's, uh, let's give our little Wurmple a break. Maybe we'll find some trees for Wurmple to get down. Wurmple was so close to killing that Pikachu. Oh, I would have gotten so many levels. Um. I hope there's fun movement because that's the most... That's one of the best parts of... What the heck was that flicker? Uh, yeah, I, I, I want to see some different movement options as well. I think that would be fun. Just collecting some stuff and looking for... Un... I guess this is all areas I've been before. What's up, Starly? It's really not getting that much experience. Oh, no way I can get up there, huh? Uh, it's regular release. Like, it came out in my region at 9 p.m. my time. Okay. Okay, we can't go any farther. Love an open world experience. Oh, what's that? Can I even get... Ooh. I thought it, it looked like it almost wanted to kill me. Oh, we can't get up this? Come on. Really? Oh, I don't feel like I was supposed to be able to get up there. That's a vivid choke. <laughs> Broke his kneecaps, but not his spirit. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Um, he kind of... The way his body moves when he jumps kind of reminds me of like a Kingdom Hearts -y style. Like he's like so floaty, you know what I mean? That should have hurt me way more than it did. I got lucky. Yeah, sound, sound has been really good. Oh. I guess the question on everyone's minds, can I avoid, no, I, I probably can't walk past him without hitting the cutscene. Who sees me? Is it this but who sees me? Oh, this shinks, okay. Gonna have to try again. Oh, there's a weasel over there. We should catch that. Um, 
luck. I know about the type matchup, but... Flurry Russia, yeah. Uh, Octopus Dabs, thank you for the resub. Alright, we caught Weasel. What, uh, who did we need Weasel for? I don't remember. Shinx... Shinx learned a new move. Oh, this is cute. Like, you get little achievements for all the tiny little things you do. I... Interesting. Dude, does everybody want to fight? Here, fine. Seamus showed up. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you were here for that. I'm so glad that joke has lived on. Um, with this one so low level. Can you switch Pokemon? Like, back. And then if I hit L... And then... Oh, okay. That is a confusing mechanic. Or it's just confusing mechanically on the controller. Okay. Fight Whirlpool. Use Poison Snake. Dude, Whirlpool keeps getting double attacked. I'm gonna cheese this guy. I know I'm wasting poison, or I'm wasting potions on this Whirlpool, but look. I'm putting myself on the line for you, Whirlpool. You're gonna do this, okay? You're so slow that everybody hits, hits you twice, come on. All right, we did it. Whirlpool, you got your own, you got a battle. How much experience did he get? 17? Okay, yeah, he should not be in, he should not be, he should, we'll just rely on experience share. We'll just rely on experience share. Um. Oh, question, can we swim? Whoa, was not expecting you to be able to swim. And you can't. And you can't. <laughs> well, is that a floatzel over there? Damn. I guess you, I mean, I guess, you know, surf is a thing, right? So I assume. Oh, he got me. Oh, and I wasted a Pokeball on his ass, too. He's... Okay, but it didn't have the thing over it. And so I assumed I would still be able to throw a Pokeball. I wonder if Stab is a thing. No. Can't get over how much that mountain looks like Death Mountain. Stop making Breath of the Wild comparisons, man. There's nothing similar between these games. People did the same thing about Genshin Impact. People always want to say everything's ripping off Breath of the Wild. One of the most underground games that no one's ever really played before. No one's... <laughs> They're completely different games. Oh my god, is that a Ponyta? And it's so tiny. I, I actually, like when Nick and I played Genshin, I hadn't played Breath of the Wild yet. And so I just was like talking about how, are you kidding me?
Fuck me. Oh. I will say... Oh, sick! I will say it kind of sucks that Pokeballs seem kind of hard to get a lot of, and you can lose them so easily. I could be- I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um... Okay, here. I'll use- I'll use Wurmple for the- Eh, nah, whatever. I'm just exploring what the game will let me, since it's not really open world. Um, but what was I gonna say? Oh, 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 uh... So, like, when me and Nick played Genshin, I didn't, like, know as much about Breath of the Wild as I do. And then I watched Point Crow play Genshin, uh, and he pointed out every single thing that uh, has a similarity to Breath of the Wild. And I was like blown away at how many similarities there were. In terms of the actual game environment, not like the combat. Obviously the combat's different. Fuck me, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, I was I was use I was using Wurmple to get XP for uh, like when you do headbutts and stuff here, but it's just inconvenient if we enter combat to switch back to uh, Cyndaquil. So I'm just like, and he's low enough level where I'm like, he'll get so much out of the um. He'll get so much out of the experience share anyway. As a general community, we do have a problem with comparing everything to Breath of the Wild. I hear you, but like... The enemies, the shrine system, the cl Like, all of the things, like, in Genshin, like, the engine just feels very Breath of the Wild. Like, I get it. But also, why are we acting like this isn't exactly, like, what is intended, you know? Because it's a... It's exactly how business happens. Something is successful and then everybody copies it. Let's not act like that's not like one of the most common things to happen. Like Genshin is its own unique game and experience, but it can also have a lot of similarities. I mean, the creators have said that they were inspired by Breath of the Wild. Or whatever, but, um, like, even if they hadn't, you'd be hard pressed to find a collection of such. It was like a, a collection of similar elements, you know? Oh, that's, that's a fight. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, I did. I did the right thing. When did Syndical learn to roll out? Driplin seems like it would be like a strong Pokemon. Ooh, we do love a Drifloon, Driflim. Uh... Alright, I'll start moseying my way. I do kind of want to, um... Um... Oh, let me get out of the way. I do kind of want to catch some more. Do we have to fight now? It's funny how we put like cinema bars, like transparent cinema bars on the camera to make it look more cinematic. <laughs> 
Ouch. Yeah. Breath of the Wild game, not like having more of that style is... Yeah, I, I mean, I agree. Also, like... Oh, what? Oh, it's a no, oh, it's a two-on-one. Oh, shit, Cynical died. I had no idea that could happen. Well, we just learned something. Letterboxing our widescreen monitors. Yeah, where you can see what you're missing out on. That's a really satisfying catch. Um, I also just don't feel like... Um, you know, it's like, the reason I think that a lot of things compare to Breath of the Wild is because, like, I mean, I'm trying to remember to, like, what was that game? Hang on, let me pause real quick. I need to, I need to think. Uh, Nino Kuni. Did anybody play Nino Kuni? Um, I'm, like, trying to think of the, like, 3D cell shaded like, open worldy like, um, Miyazaki inspired, um, like art style games. And, uh, Nino Kuni was like level five and Square Enix, I think. Um, and that is, that game's beautiful. I haven't like looked at it in a long time. Um, yeah, Ghibli. Did, oh, did I say Miyazaki? Well, yeah, I mean, same deal. Um, yeah, like Studio Ghibli. Uh Oh. Uh Largan Larson a uh, capture card. Um I do just like collecting stuff. So that part of me is like very satisfied right now because I haven't really done much. Except for collect stuff. I just had a moment of like, where the, the, uh, what was it called? The, um, what is this called? Roll, excuse me, where the roll felt really good. And I'm like, I wish I felt like that all the time. Oh no! I almost walked in the water again. I almost made my my silly mistake. I saw a part of a review where they talked about how easy it was to throw a Pokeball in the wrong context. So now I'm like determined to not mess it up. So I'm like trying to practice my uh, awareness when it comes to... And I just fucked it up just there. This game has 3DS energy. I was saying that actually. Like, hear me out. What if this game was originally developed for the 3DS? What if this was like, the engine was developed and demoed, and then they fleshed out the game for, for, for like Wii U or something? And then, and then it got too late in the Wii U's life cycle, and then they, then they moved it to Switch. Bro, the the po the 
They they're doing the Pokemon on her clothes dirty with this resolution. Like the Stantler didn't ask for this, man. The Ursa Ring on her right shoulder didn't ask for this. Do you feel confident you can lead your Pokemon to battle? I do. Some of these Pokemon cries are not good. I'm gonna, I'll say it. I'll say it. Is my, my Cyndaquil is like, whatever, this doesn't matter. Um, let's use Rollout and see if you can like, let's see if we can gain up some, some power. Oh no, Bidoof can't, I got crit? Okay, fine. Fine, we'll just sack Bidoof. Of course, when I'm like, oh, let's do something fun, we get crit. Um, that's fine. Shinx will save us. Or will it be Starly? I feel like... Interesting. What is it with... Um... Oh, oh, this has... I can use Agile Style or Strong Style. Let's give Strong Style a try. Whoa! <laughs> it's... Oh my god, this is hilarious. Bro, we just got wrecked. Wait, is Rollout rock type? I thought Rollout was normal. Rollout is rock type? I'm an idiot. I didn't see it. Now I see it. Now I see it. I'm so dumb. It's probably always been rock type. It's just like such a useless move that I've like never in my life actually used it. Um, this thing probably has high special defense. I don't know why I thought Thundershock would do anything. Um, all right, so now he's just gonna sweep. All right, we're gonna black out here. If you press Y, it'll show you the turn order. That's helpful. Why don't they tell you this? What the fuck? Oh, it's it's been here in the menu and I just didn't see it. Oh, and you, there's a... S Interesting. People are going to take away my, like, competitive, ba competitive battling cred for not knowing Rollout was raw. Oh, we, we squeaked it out. Oh, it, Wurmple actually got got some levels. I think Wurmple can evolve. Five vivid chokes. Something about the heights. A large, fearsome foe. Did you say like an alpha? Gosh, I should have read this. Um, deer track heights. His mouth got wide. Your arc bone is beeping. This is really the story of what happens when you bring an iPhone to the 1800s. But it, again, it doesn't feel like it's that long ago because they've got like, I don't know. Do you really know about the almighty Sinnoh? I mean, no? Oh. Almighty Sinnoh is Arceus, I guess? Yeah, I'm probably going to sleep soon, too. Getting tired. And I'm going to just wake up and play anyway. I 
I feel like uh, I'm not paying attention to lore right now because I'm tired. So I'll finish up this lore shortly. Oh, there's a cricket tot. I'm gonna get to a good stopping point. Fuck. Ugh, so easy to waste Pokeballs. Oh, did I lose it completely? Ugh, I don't like how it despawns. I get it, but it sucks. Oh, there's more creep attack. When do you think you'll stream tomorrow? Probably like 8 a.m. Oh yeah, it keeps saying Wurmple can evolve. How do I evolve Wurmple? It's got... Oh, I can hit X to evolve. That's interesting. Yo! Go Wurmple! Go Wurmple! Go Wurmple! Go Wurmple! Oh, here's where all the budget went. Go Wurmple! Yeah! Silcoon. That was cool. Yeah, that was like randomly it went really hard for a second. That, that was what was that about? Um. I'm glad we got to experience that with Wurmple, because that was that was very nice. Evolutions are a big deal. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I do have the urge to catch literally every Pokemon I see, which is good, I think. Which is a good thing, because they've, like, done a good job of, like, making you want to do that. Um, alright, let me go where, where I'm supposed to go. I will never not mix up crouching with, uh... Whatever the thing, uh, the other thing is. My brain doesn't work right now. I feel like, yeah, that evolution animation, no one was expecting. It's like in the class project where you tried harder than everybody else. And so it gets to your part and it's like really good. <laughs> Oh, wait, I am going the wrong direction. I was going towards this stupid, uh, this. Let me undo this pin. Yeah. I don't know why they would make the controls so familiar and then swap crouching and running. Yo, 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 something is in that. Something is in this fucking tree. I know it. You can tell. Yo! Burmy! What's good, Burmy? Ow. My offensive stats were lowered. Well, frick. I don't know if this is going to even be a good idea. All right. Oh, I'm fixated. Fuck, I'm gonna kill Burmy. Um, let's just go. Let's just go for it. Yes. That felt good. Oh, Geo, dude. Um.
Don't mind me. I do not have a lot of... Yes! Let's go! Alright, one Pokeball left. There's a lot more Geodudes here. No, I need the medicinal leak. I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. Shinx, uh. get that before we get attacked. All right, we got the black pummel skin. All right. Don't let the Starly get in our way. Don't mind me. Can I get up here? Can I walk on the sky to get up here? Yeah, I can. See, like doing that, I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to get up there. You know what I mean? Because it looks so janky. Ugh. Oh. Oh, Staravia. If it isn't Staravia. Ow. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. Okay, I'm calling it now. I bet somebody on Twitter has called this game Breath of the Mild. I bet. I bet someone's done it. Yeah, go on Twitter, search up Breath of the Mild in quotes, see if it's about Legends Arceus. Deer Track Heights. Is that a cricket tune? I found it about Genshin. That's funny. I feel like Genshin's like... I mean... I think the Genshin gets a bad rap, but the combat is, like, so deep in Genshin, which is, like... Yeah. Um, I love how Cricketune's cry kind of sounds like a car alarm. All right, so is this like, wait, 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 wait. How do I, wait, no, 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 I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here either. I want to be here. Lost and found. Okay. Wait, where do I, where do I save manually? A, A to save your progress. Because before I didn't have my trainer card here. So we played for three hours. I mean, we didn't make it very far for three hours, but I think it's because we, you know, stopped and smelled the roses, which is always good. That's always good. Are my Pokemon healed now? Yeah. It looked like, before he threw out the Pokeball, it looked like he was about to square up and fight the Cricketune himself. Um, 
Oh, they tell us about the action order now. Ow. Holy shit. Yeah, we're done for. Why is this Krigatoon so strong? Why is it just kill us with Aerial Ace? It's a bug Pokemon. What is going on? Starly is flying. What the fuck is happening right now? It is funny that it's a Krikatoon, because Krikatoon is like a famously shitty Pokemon. Flying strong against flying? I guess when you're an Alpha Chad like Krikatoon. I bet Kri that Krikatoon is a bug Pokemon that gets stabbed on flying moves because he's such a Chad. Seeing someone best in- oh, they it's really called an Alpha? That's- that's absurd. Who in localization allowed that to happen? I wonder what they're called in, in, in the Japanese version. We are... Okay. We're deer. Wait. Wait. Is this like Hisuian Stantler? Or am I just mixing up? Is there a po- is this- What- what is this? Word- what is Wordier? Is that a Pokemon? It's the evolution of Stantler. Sorry, I'm old. What generation is it from? New? This one! To this game! Okay! Oh, it's new. It's brand new. Wordier? I don't love that name. They added a few new Evos. That's cool. For a second, I was like, I thought I played the game. I thought I knew all the Pokemon. You know, sometimes I'm like, forget a name. Okay, that makes me feel better. I was like, what is going on? Why does why are they calling that Stantler like Wordier? You're just a boomer, it's okay. Yeah, I guess I should have played this game already that came out three hours ago. Oh, did you just reference Alola? <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about adding new evolutions when we apparently traveled back in time. What if it's like an extinct evolution? You know, like when you, if you were to go back in time, you could see all kinds of animals that no longer exist. I think it's chill. Uh, if we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. This is like... You know what this is reminding me of? The domestication of dogs. Because you know it's like... 
at least my understanding of the domestication of dogs was like uh it was like wolves would eat the scraps of um like these like uh I don't even know what people it was in like Siberia and stuff. I don't know if it was Siberia specifically. I don't know all the details, but like my understanding was that they like started out by eating scraps of from humans and then uh, they started to like breed them or whatever. Um, Pokemon equals dogs. Well, I mean that because this is a time where. Pokemon and humans don't have a relationship. And that's kind of the whole, like, premise of the thing. Um, and she's, like, talking about this future where Pokemon and people can get along. I heard that there is more time, more than one time that dogs and wolves are domesticated. I heard that as well, actually. Like I've heard it's really it's it's very difficult even with like fossil records and stuff to figure out exactly like I think that's why we think that they've been domesticated multiple times. Um okay, what's going on here? We're just like looking at our Where is uh oh, there's Silcoon. Uh what's so interesting. Cause like, how would I get, I mean, I guess they're around somewhere, but okay, whatever. Eventually the mighty, the alpha Cricketune was domesticated and bred until it was tiny and useless. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's after a hard day's work, it's time for some potato mochi. The medical core. See, poke the medical core. I bet is going to help you be. It's going to be like the Pokemon Center. That's my guess. I actually hope it's not. But the thing is, they keep healing my my party during the like cutscenes and stuff. And I'm like, damn, this is like too forgiving. I mean, it's okay. I maybe it would just be annoying to go have to heal my Pokemon. Uh, but every time I look after a cutscene, they've all been healed. Uh, did I ever say reading the dialogue? No, that that one I didn't really read because I'm trying to go to sleep. I'm like going to sleep right now, actually. Like, uh, good morning. What did I miss? What did I miss in the dialogue? All right, we've got to go to the commander's place, but we're not going to do that until tomorrow. What was the thing that just happened, though? Anybody catch it? Pokemon has already been, always been pretty easy. For sure. For sure. You can't tell me developers on this game didn't do this all the time. I feel like I, I feel like this is a, a thing you would do all the time. They said a Pokemon has gone crazy uh, attacking people. Yeah. It's me. I'm the Pokemon. Wait, do my shoes just magically come on here and they're off here? That's funny. I just want to show you guys some moves I learned. I'm like, I'm wave dashing actually. Oh, that was actually a wave dash. Wait, I don't even know how I did that. Oh, I think I... There it is. 
Yeah, if, if you're if you're sprinting and then you change directions. Yeah, so if you're sprinting and you change directions, then you get that animation, which is which is nice actually. I like that. Um uh what did I pick as my starter? You should pick you should pick Mmm You should pick Oshawott. Alright, I already saved it, but I'll save it again. After I wanna save that I did those moves. I want my floor to know that I did those those dance moves. Um <laughs> Okay everybody. I'll see you in the morning. Um <laughs>